Well, heaps of positives. Heaps of positives. We're playing. We're attacking. We're challenging teams. Uh, we're sticking to the plan. You know, the plan of how we want to play. Um, obviously, we're helped by two red cards. Um, but no, plenty of positives without giving the game away. And you know, there's, there's, you're going to ask me about a short turnaround. It's irrelevant, really, because we're much harder now. You know, we've played two two good games, and we're ready Friday night for another one. We've recovered well, and we're, we're battle ready for this game. They've got a pretty good line out. Um, you know, they won't be happy with what happened that game. Um, they'll be working on that. Some great coaches there. Um, no, we're going to be good at set piece. You know, we leaked a couple of penalties in that game around the scrum, uh, which disappointed me. Um, breakdown, well, that's breakdown's the heartbeat of the game at the moment. And you've got to be right. We've got to be clinical there. Yes, we want to put pressure on teams. We want to make life difficult for them in every breakdown. But we've got to be mindful of burning numbers there, putting too many people in there, because Leinster, more than any other team on the planet, will find space if we're putting too many people into that breakdown. We not spoke about we not spoke about the turnaround. It's we're ready for another game. It, it, it's coming Friday night. It's great for us. We're, we're ready, and you know we're having such a, a long time away from the game, and suddenly we're back into it. And then we've got another big game Friday night. And our performances are certain certain areas of the game are just getting better and better. You know, we're, we're peaking. We're, we're, we're peaking at the right time, ready for ready for knockout rugby. It's irrelevant that. It's irrelevant to me. And certainly my messaging to the group is irrelevant. What's happened before? There's been a lot of change since then. A lot of change to the coaching group. It's irrelevant. We're going to this this game Friday, ready and determined. Um, obviously, that first game. Against Lens, it was quite tough, um, especially on the body. Um, being out for, well, not being out for so long, but having not played uh, uh, for so long, I think to come up against Lens, the world class team, probably the number one team or number two team in the whole world um, at club level, um, was quite a challenge. So, yeah, it was a good test for us um, as a team going forward. Obviously, we had a uh, quite a few new guys coming in as well. Um, they've got a run. Um, so, yeah, I think we held up quite well in that first game. And I think last week was uh, a bit better in terms of the result we got. Um, but it was also very good for for, for the semi finals. Uh, Connett were very physical on the field and they brought a lot of energy. And um, it felt like we needed a almost a tough game like that before before semi final. Um, leading up to this Friday night. Uh, for me, it's it's uh, very similar to um, when I played at the Stormers and we played against the Bulls. It's it's like a North-South derby. It's it's very personal. It's very physical. Um, it gets quite intense on the field, even though you have a uh, massive amount of respect for each other. Um, even though, they're, obviously, I'm not Irish, but we know that the Irish guys are competing for spots uh, to play for Ireland. So, um, they'll go all out in that game, but it's still that mutual respect they have for each other on the pitch and off the pitch. So um, I've I probably need to play a few more, um, like the other guys have, but uh, I certainly do understand the way they see it, and um, it's very encouraging, and it makes me want to help them beat them as well. So yeah, Friday night's going to be a very tough encounter, but um, hopefully we'll pitch up. You know, it's a short turnaround, but. Uh, we know it's just a mental thing. Um, we haven't played a lot of rugby over the past six months, um, so there are going to be a bit of sore bodies, I think, still on Thursday night. But I think if we get the right mindset um, uh, and we pitch up on Friday night, um, knowing that we've got one opportunity and um, forgetting about uh, everything else in the past and not even worrying about the final, but just staying in that moment for 80 minutes and hopefully um, we can walk off with big smiles on their faces on Friday night.